Okay, so we've got the footage here and we have to track the four corners of the laptop. So that's very easy to do now. We just go here, maybe zoom in a bit, control left click to place the marker here, let go, and this should track just fine. Maybe to concentrate on that, press L to lock that to this marker and then hit control T and it's already finished. So maybe go through the shot and this looks pretty nice. Now next marker right here in the corner and maybe we can also change the speed. So just to be able to follow that better while it tracks, you can go down here to the tracking settings and then here in the speed you can switch from fastest to real time or half the speed or so. So control T again and now we can follow it much better and see how it tracks. So if there are some jumps or if it slides away we can see that better. All right, then shift left arrow to go to frame one, add a marker here like so and if you now hit control T go to frame one again control T scale it up just a little bit then move it right here in the center control T again Okay, so that is the four markers and we are done with tracking. So we can press L to unlock. And now we can go to the reconstruction panel to turn these four tracks into empties. So start up here, link empty to track, link empty to track, and little trick, shift R will repeat the last operator. So now we have three markers here, then select that one. So shift R for repeat last operator is maybe a little bit faster in this case than always pressing on this button. So shift R again, and now we have lower left, lower right, upper left, upper right. Okay, so we are finished here and we can go to the 3D viewport. So we've got the markers here in our corners and it looks great, but still we don't have a movie inside of this screen, of course. So first we have to insert a plane and this plane can then get a texture with a movie on it. So with a 3D cursor here at the origin we hit shift A add mesh plane and now we have to try to snap the corners of this plane to these empties. And that's very easy we just select these empties and then hit shift S then 3 cursor to select it. Now we have the cursor here and we can select the corner in edit mode of this plane, select this corner, then hit shift S2, snap selected to cursor, and now it sits there and we can move on. So tap to go out of edit mode, then select this empty, shift S3, select the plane, edit mode, shift S2, and so on. So now we have the corners here in the corners of our laptop, which is fine, but we have to attach that. And in this case, we don't do that with a constraint. Now we have to really somehow deform our plane by using these empties. And to do that, we will use something called hooks. And that works like this. First, you select the hook or the object that will be the hook for the vertex. In that case, it is the upper left corner. So you select that. Then shift right click select the plane tap to go into edit mode, then select this corner and then hit Control H and then choose hook to selected object. And that will attach this vertex to this empty, to this object. And if you hit Alt A now, you would see that this corner is now sticking to that empty. And that is exactly what we need. So we just repeat that with these other three corners. So select this one, then shift right click select the plane, edit mode, then control H, hook to selected object and now repeat that. And now it just sticks 
to the monitor. Alright, so now that we've got that, we could start compositing.